The circumstances behind the death of many Armenian servicemen who have fallen in the 44-day war in Artsakh and Nagorno-Karabakh last four are still uncertain. A number of respective criminal cases are already in court, and the legal successors of these victims are waiting to face the accused. A trial in the case of the death of 16 servicemen and two officers will get underway on September the 7th in Goris City, and the deputy commander of a military unit, Lieutenant Colonel Andrani Veranyan, stands accused in this trial. Before the start of the war, the soldiers in question were serving in the military units of Megri City and Agarak village of Sunik province, but once the war started, they were taken to Artsakh. Learning that his son was being taken there, the father of one of these servicemen drove with his own car to see his son and witness how his son and fellow servicemen were killed. Soldier Ardashes Khalatyan, 20, was among these servicemen. His father, Hagob Khalatyan, claimed to News AM that the cause of the death of these soldiers was Lieutenant Colonel Andranik Varanyan's instruction. Varanyan has been charged with abusing his official position, negligently causing major material damage. He was detained for two months, but then was released on a signature bond not to leave Armenia. The 10th In Classica Dubai International Festival this year brought together famous musicians, orchestras and conductors including the Armenian State Symphony Orchestra. The festival, organized by the European Foundation for Support of Culture in cooperation with Summit Event Group, started on August 28th. The foundation plans to hold a concert series in the best halls of the world. One of the 20 concerts will be held in Armenia within the framework of cooperation with the Armenian State Symphony Orchestra. The festival will be attended by the Russian National Orchestra, the Jerusalem Symphony Orchestra, the German State Philharmonic of Rheinland Palatinate, the Armenian State Symphony Orchestra, and other famous orchestras, which will present a variety of concert programs. The visitors of the festival will also be able to listen to many premieres. The 44-day war satellite footage may end up in the Armenian opposition's hands, Rabarak Daily reported, referring to its sources. The representatives of one of the countries that has an artificial satellite in space have contacted some circles of Armenia's opposition and offered them to provide some footage at their disposal and which are related to Armenia. Among them is especially the 44-day war's whole footage, by viewing of which one can get a clear idea of what tactics Azerbaijan carried out during those 44 four days and how Armenia lost, the newspaper wrote. As of Friday morning, 595 new cases of the coronavirus were confirmed in Armenia and the total number of these cases has now reached 243,981 in the country. Also, 60 more deaths from COVID-19 were registered, making the respective total 4,892 cases. Serbian football player Goran Obradovic, 34, has committed suicide. According to Objective RS, the veteran defender was found hanged in his father's house in Serbia. Obradovic had played in the Armenian Premier League for many years, and after leaving Armenia in 2018, the Serbian footballer had played in Iraq, Thailand, and Botswana.